What's up, Chargers? It's Ava and Camilla with another episode of WRSN. Pink Shirt Day this year was celebrated on February 24th to raise awareness and support anti-bullying. Let's go see how some of our chargers rose awareness for anti-bullying. Bullying is a major problem in schools, online, and other places all around the world. Pink Shirt Day raises awareness of these issues and supports anti-bullying. Pink Shirt Day this year was celebrated on Wednesday, February 24th. Here is how some of our Suncoast chargers showed out wearing their pink shirts. We are glad to see that many chargers showed their support for anti-bullying this year. However, one thing they won't all get to show is their personal projects due to cancellation of the presentation requirement. So let's go over to Alina with some sophomores to see what they did for their projects. While COVID has changed and canceled plenty of things in school, one thing that did remain the same is the personal project for sophomores. However, the presentation requirement did go away. So let's see what some students did for their projects. For my personal project, I created a children's book about the sport of swimming, and I also volunteered at the aquatic center with my coach to help better know the kids I was going to give my book to. And for the book's content, it has six chapters ranging all the ways from the equipment to swimming to the mental mindset you should have. And I really enjoyed working on the project because I was not only to help other kids, but I was also able to improve my writing skills and really learn the sport better myself. My name is Kayla Baptiste and for my personal project, I did a seven page pamphlet that discusses race and racism in a way that is easily digestible and addresses many myths or wrong definitions that are found on the internet that I felt like could be easily corrected and spread among my peers, as well as a podcast series that goes into brief detail about the pamphlet and reads along the pamphlet um, episode by episode. As a person of color, I wanted to help educate the people around me, and so this is what I chose. For my project, I went to my backyard and ran around my house a certain distance while being timed. As the project progressed, you could see the improvement and increase in speed, stamina, and strength developed over the summer, all the way to the first semester of this school year. Unfortunately, COVID had definitely placed a lot of restrictions on the places that I had wanted to go to originally, but flexibility was one of the strong suits of my projects, which allowed this project to be successful. From a personal product, I made a magnetic chessboard. I started with a layer of wood on the bottom, then I put colored tiles on top of it, and I designed and 3D printed chess pieces. I learned a lot from this project. I think it was very fun, and I got a lot of value out of it, because as some of you may know, chessboards can get pretty expensive. Reporting for WRSN, this has been Alina. While the presentation of personal projects may have been canceled, this year's cap and gown photos for seniors were not. Even though things did look a little different with COVID, we're glad that our seniors were able to have this opportunity. Let's go to Kylie to see how the photos went. Senior cap and gown photos took place on Wednesday, March 4th. Students had the opportunity to sign up and get their photos professionally taken. The event was all COVID safe as social distancing and masks were in use and the caps and gowns were also lined. This event had a great turnout and the seniors looked amazing in their caps and gowns. Speaking of on-campus activities, we recently had a courtyard dance event at lunch. Participating in events like these can help relieve the stress of school, and today we are having a courtyard karaoke again. So make sure to sign up with Ms. Rawson at the beginning of lunch. There will be something to participate in every week, so be sure to stay tuned for upcoming courtyard events. Hmm, dancing and karaoke, doesn't that remind you of something, Camilla? That's right, birthdays. Bingo. Now let's wish the following Chargers a very happy birthday. Happy birthday.
birthday, Chargers. This has been Camilla. And Ava with your Suncoast News. Now let's go to Derek to see another episode of Field View. What is up, Chargers? It's your boy Derek, better known as King Taxi, back at it again with yet another episode of Field View. Today we're going to be going around asking students what they do for self care. But before we get into that, I'll be leaving the classroom code to our self care Google Classroom down below. There you can find a lot of tips on self-care as well as many other tips that can help get you through the year. And better yet, out of everyone that takes the initiative to join, I'll be choosing a group of 5 to 10 students to do a segment for next week's episode of Field View. So go join guys, let's get it. Hello you guys, we're coming around asking today, what do you all do for self-care during these times? So, so for self-care, I play Roblox. <laughs> so for self-care, I do my makeup and sometimes do my hair just to feel pretty. Ah, so, I like yeah. it, I like it. Um, well, I go skateboard and I've been doing that for like the past three days because I've been trying to land this trick for like nice. ever and I can't get it. Nice. Um, I ride dirt bikes I and I that. sleep a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. I sleep because it makes me forget I'm stressed. Oh my god. Um, I watch my comfort movies. Ah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, I listen to music. Uh, I like to take like naps. I don't know, just like calming. <laughs> um, I go for a run or work out. Ah, nice. I don't. Um, for self care, I like to work out every day and just stay healthy. I listen to music. I like to sleep. Ah. What's up, man? Today we're coming around asking. <laughs> what do you do for self care? <laughs> Honestly, both for me, um, I, I'm a dancer, so that's what I do. I dance. Oh, like, you like to dance. Yeah, I, I wish I could do a little bit more, but I don't really have the time to like yeah. really do full body workouts and yeah. stuff, but dancing's fun. Huh, I like to dance too, that's nice. What's up, guys? Today we're asking, we're coming at you quick, quick, quick. Uh, I like to chill with my dogs. They kind of help calm me down and help me get my stuff together. Nice. Relax. Uh, I like to kind of play video games and chill with my friends. I like that, I like that. Hello, we're coming around asking, what do you like to do for self-care? Uh, I like to go on runs and dye my hair. Ah, we love it, we love it. Oh. Hey, did it see you there? Oh, are you supposed to for self-care, I usually go running and then I drink a smoothie with chia seeds in it. I also drink a yogurt and like with bananas and strawberries. I like it, like it. Usually I just do like something creative like paint or sleep. I sleep 10 hours a day. <laughs> 